now as the industry starts shifting where everything became digital and stuff and especially with with that role did how did was the expectations different to me are we looking at streams and for gospel artists or is it like if you write a song we get publishing because it's played at different churches or what was the sort of expectation then well that really around that time was we still had a little time before the whole streaming game just completely took over you know, it was still about physical CDs and okay. radio and touring. Um, so we 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 still had time to do live, host live concerts and sell product at the venue, all of that. You know, the fun stuff. Okay. So yeah, so and that that was kind of right before things really went into the you know digital space. So well, when it did go digital and hip hop then becomes the dominating sound, what are you? What do you end up doing? Well, at, by that time, I'm working for myself, you know, and just producing. And I, I I invested in some studios and I just started producing records and doing work with E1, the gospel label, and working on Shirley Caesar records. That was a Grammy nominated project as well with Phil Thornton. And um, so it just kind of spiraled into the next thing, which brings me to where I am today. So how then did you come up with the concept of having um timeless music group? I mean, what um well, how did the idea pop up after all this time to say, let me set up my own label? Because of the love for it. Um I I I love it. I love breaking artists, I love working with new artists, I love dis- discovering and get and creating platforms and opportunities for those who potentially have next. So I invested in a facility um, that I can create with no pressure. I'm not in competition with the labels. I do what I want the way I want to do it. And um, and we can do it at our own pace. I was fortunate enough to get a partnership with Rock Nation. Um, so they believed in what I was doing. And so we're going to just, we're going to break this and we're going to build this building one brick, one song at a time. So yeah, that 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 did come as a surprise. The the partnership with Rock Nation. How did that come about? Uh, you have not, because you asked not. You know, I just asked them, and they said yes. They understood my background, my history, um, and my desire for what I wanted, what I wanted to do, and how I wanted to do it. And they believed in it, and they gave me the they gave me the green light. Is Jay, was Jay Z involved with that, or does he get it? Does he? No, he has a whole team that <laughs> runs companies, you know? Wow. So there yeah. was um so what what does a partnership with say Rock Nation in 2023 look like? What is it what what's what 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 is it sort of what happens? What's the diff what well Rock Nation from, yeah. Well Rock Nation, what I love about them is they're really into building a culture, you know, um and they they shape culture and they, you know, is is we they own it, they own a thing, and I like so they gave me an opportunity to own my thing. Um, so I love the support, I love um, um, what they give me in terms as the support that's needed in the belief system. Um, so for me, um, it was really about the culture and what they stand for. So to me, I just thought it was a it was a great fit for me because I like what I love what they're about. So um. So when you, so what's your what's the first project with, with the partnership? What's is that your solo album or or the my or solo what? album, which is a compilation? It's a compilation project where I get to work with whomever I want to work with. Um, some of my favorite gospel artists and some secular artists as well who have deep roots in gospel music. Um, who just wanted to kind of lend their support and sing. A, a gospel song or just do something different for a minute so it's really really working the first single god is good with karen clark shared kiera shared kelly and my brother hezekiah walker um um rodney jerkins touched the record jay drew touched the record so and it's really 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 doing well so i'm excited about um what's happening and this is the beginning of launching um, a inspirational division, a brand that I think will do really well in the marketplace. 
I think I saw a video with you with Christopher Williams in the studio. Yes, with you. we were. Yeah, he's he's on a song. He's on a song. So it's 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 with Jason Nelson, Christopher Williams, and Jason Nelson and Eric Bellinger and Aaron Hall on the same song. <laughs> he got Aaron Hall back. Okay. Yeah. It's full and circle it, from I'm dreaming. <laughs> full circle because one, it has that new jack. This particular song has that new jack vibe written all over it, right? So I'm trying to wait to hear from Teddy because I need Teddy to to do what Teddy does. So we're going to see if that, how that works. Out. <laughs> so the, the the is it is it like a Quincy Jones back on the block or like a Jimmy exactly. Terry volume? Okay, it's, that's that's the blueprint. Okay, so how many singles should we expect on the on the album? A uh, ten, at least ten to eleven singles. Okay, and so. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I don't, as I said, I, it's not like before where we go where you can tell the success through radio play and um, people buying it from from the store. How is the success of a of a song judged for yourself now? What what what, what would you deem as whether well, this is actually doing well? Um, well, well, you can gauge it by radio. You can you can gauge it by chart position. Um, I, you know, the goal is to get to have a top ten, top five single. You know, that will set up the rest of the singles and bring recognition to the brand. So if we can get it there and the world is embracing it and people are loving it, then to me, mission accomplished. Now, now being digital, they, I mean, music, you know, you don't need to get Hype Williams directing a million dollar video. Uh, but I, I do you then look at, OK, we need to do a lot of social media stuff and get the little videos. Because I like the little vignettes yeah. that you normally do. Um, with yourself in the studios, almost yeah. like saying this is what's going on, because that's the kind of backs behind the scenes stuff that we yes. that really gets us in, intrigued. Do, do you have a team just focused on yep how to really sell the song visually and all these services? Yes, we have um, a marketing team um, that's that's working behind the scenes. Um, you'll start seeing more of videos and of, of the things that we're doing on the other songs. You'll start seeing a lot more visual content. So all of that is in the makings now. Wow. So how do you juggle? So is your role just uh, what's your role? What's your role now? I mean, being you know CEO, owner of, of the label, <laughs> producer, writers, and everything. But what's what's your primary role so that you can make sure that one doesn't suffer because you're trying to put your hands everywhere? Well, I mean, it's it's like my baby, my my personal child that I'm birthing or giving life to. Um, so I, I try to stay hands on everything, um, finding songs, reaching out to the most incredible songwriters, um, producers to partner with me and to do some amazing collaborations and just kind of oversee the whole thing. But I have a team in place and I trust what they do mm-hmm. and I trust what they bring to the to the table. So it's a it's a collaborative a- effort for sure. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of the Half Time Chat community. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, but most importantly, why don't you consider being a member as a way of supporting the channel, but also getting a lot of videos ahead of time, a lot of behind the scenes stuff, and some exclusive content that doesn't get shared. But anyway, thanks for watching and thanks for being part of Half Time Chat. <laughs>